I want to point out a, that this tube, uh, a length of metal tubing, keeps the cow from chewing on the tube. And the only thing different is that this one has a uh, strap on it that helps you hold on to it so the cow doesn't swallow. Now we'll insert the frick tube into the oral cavity, making sure that the halter rope is loose enough so the heifer can open her mouth wide enough. We'll guide the frick tube back into the pharynx by directing it between the arcades, and then we'll hold on to it with this rope. At that point, we grasp the stomach tube and insert it. Giving her an adequate amount of time to swallow it. Always make sure we have a hold of this rope so that she doesn't swallow the tube itself. At this point, we can test to be sure it's in by blowing on the end of this and having an assistant listen for the... Okay, Bill. Listen for bubbles. Now at this point, we're ready to pump. And an assistant can attach this onto a pump such as this one. We're using a bilge pump, in this case, to pump fluids. We can also use this other pump, which is a metal version that's used to adapt onto smaller stomach tubes. And the third way that, that fluids can be delivered is to let the tube get completely filled and then plunge it down into the bucket and elevate the bucket and then siphon it. If you elevate the bucket above the level of the animal and the tube has been full of water, it will siphon a whole bucket of water down into the rumen. Once the medication is administered, then you pull out the tube before the frick tube comes out, remembering that the purpose of the frick tube is to keep the cow from chewing on the stomach tube. At this point, frick tube can be pulled out and the operation is complete.